any chance we get to ingrain the proper sprint pattern into the motor system we're going to use. So now when he does a lunge walk, he's going to calf smash, step toe over knee, bring the recovery leg through as he steps over and out in a sprinting fashion with a moving forward lunge. So as Ryan steps, notice opposite arm, opposite leg, step forward, once again, swing it across, swing it through, recovery leg comes through, bring the left leg heel to butt, heel comes right to butt, left leg. Step over, heel to butt, step over. Let's come back, go ahead, come back. Let's go one more time. Now this is a cyclic, cyclic movement. It's gonna continue, there's no pausing. So let's go through, no pausing, just step. Bring it through, step right over, step righter. Pay attention to shin angle, allow the body to seek stability first, and relax. He'll cover 10 yards doing alternating walking lunge with a sprint mechanic in it, calf smashing, stepping toe over knee. Now, he's gonna do a reverse lunge. Here's what I'm gonna ask Ryan to do. Knee to chest, heel to butt, kick the window out. As he kicks the window out, he's gonna bend his back leg and drop down into a reverse lunge position. He's gonna peel the toe of the lead foot off the ground last to teach him to extend through the hip. When you do a forward lunge, you load through the knees. When you do a reverse lunge, you load more through the hip. So now Ryan's gonna demonstrate a reverse lunge. Again, this is gonna be one step after another. Knee to chest, heel to butt, kick the window out, peel the heel off last. Same thing, knee to chest, heel to butt. There we go. Knee to chest, heel to butt, kick and extend. Now we're gonna show a different variation pattern of a lateral lunge. After Ryan finishes his reverse lunge, he's gonna walk backwards for 10 yards. Now he's gonna be in a lateral lunge position. Both legs are, str are, are, are straddled, <clears throat> slightly wider than hips. He's gonna lunge, lateral lunge to his right, lateral lunge to his left, then take a crossover step and repeat the activity. Now, when you take the crossover step to stretch the, the, the tissue on the lateral component of this far hip, the right hip, it's a short step over, so my shoulders and hips stay square in front of me. I don't want to see a big step where they turn and open because now I've bypassed that tissue. I'm not lengthening what I want to lengthen. So once again, he's going to lunge right. He's going to lunge left. Now he's going to cross over. Same thing, step out, heel stay flat, push hips back. Cross over. Now when he goes 10 yards, all he's going to do is flip it and reverse the activity. So now he's going to lunge right, left, cross over. So if he would turn to me, lunge right, lunge left, cross over. Same thing, shoulders and hips stay square. One more time, lunge right, lunge left, cross over. Remember, it's a short crossover, so your hips and shoulders stay square or parallel to the horizon in front of you. From this position now, we're gonna do a backward toe touch. Now, when we do a backward toe touch, I don't care if you touch your toes. The hip must be flexed to lengthen the hamstring. Ankles dorsiflex, chest is out, spine is neutral, back is flat, and step. So he's gonna do his right leg first, toe back to knee, head up, chest out. Take one, two, three steps. Left leg, same thing, push back through the hips, back is flat, head is up in line with spine, chest is out, at no time does he flex the lumbar spine to lengthen the tissue of the hamstring. Then he'll just continue a backward walk into the end zone. After he finishes that backward yacht walk, we've now covered 100 yards of movement prep. He's gonna stride back 100 yards again. Now he's gonna restart more movement prep. So the first movement prep is, come on back here, Ryan. Is this one, he's gonna flex from the hip, open the gate, and extend with a normal step back. He'll walk that for 10 yards, he'll skip it for 10 yards, then he'll walk backwards for 10 yards. Here we go, Ryan. Flex, open, extend. Flex, open, extend, there we go. Flex, open, extend, take your time. Flex, open, extend. Notice how I told Ryan to take his time and slow it down. So if Ryan walks back forward after doing that 10 yards, now he's gonna skip it for 10 yards. Skip, open those hips up. There we go. Nice and light on the feet, be reactive off the ground, open the hips up. Then he'll walk backwards for 10 yards. 
Notice we do a lot of backward walking as, as well as forward walking. This now opens up the brain pathways to again allow the brain to reestablish the way it patterns movement because we're so used to moving forward. Now we're going to walk backwards, learn to extend through our hips and keep walking backwards into the end zone. The next walking movement prep that Ryan will do is everybody has seen it, a piriformis stretch. We're just going to pull the ankle up and in. Again, grab the ankle, don't grab the heel to stretch the peroneal tendon, aggravate the peroneal nerve. Once again, three steps. Three steps opposite leg. Now what he's going to do is Ryan will now demonstrate skipping that movement pattern moving forward. So let's skip it. Forward. forward. Toe touch up and in, up and in, up and in. Reactive, light on the feet, and then he'll walk 10 yards forward. We finish off with a backward uh, back pedal into the end zone for 10 to 20 yards. Stride him back to the goal line. Again, it's another 100-yard strider. You're going to see in our active dynamic warm-up, as well as our heart rate elevation, there's close to 500 yards of submaximal striding work involved in the work, which is called, we consider tempo work, but it has to be accounted for in the volume of yards that we, we, we add up or take into account for loading during the week. When he's done, we're going to come back on the goal line. Now we're going to start some what we call general strength work. These movements, Dan Paff has made famous. All he's going to do is single leg hop forward on his right foot, single leg hop for, uh, backward on his left, then he'll go single leg forward on left, single leg backward on right, and then we're going to hop immediately. So all Ryan's going to do is hop on leg, one leg for a small amplitude of movement for 10 yards. Hop backwards on the left leg for a small amplitude of movement. Now he'll turn around, now he'll go backwards on right leg for a small amplitude of movement. And come forward for a small amplitude of movement on the left leg. Now what Ryan's going to do, he's going to turn and face me, he's going to be on his right leg. He's going to laterally hop medially on the right leg down for 10 yards. Once again, small amplitude of movement. And then he'll go on his left leg, medial hops, moving to his right on his left leg. Now we've gone through some general strength with single leg activity or single leg hops, very small amplitude of movement.